So welcome back to the channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and in this video we are going to discuss the question path with minimum efforts right okay so the, the problem says that you are standing at this position right that is 0 comma 0 in a matrix you have to reach this position that is n minus 1 n minus 1 which is 2 comma 2 in this case right the bottom right now it is for sure that you will have to take a path right suppose you take a path 1 to 2 to 2 5 that is this path right this is a valid path another path can be 1 2 8 2 5 that is 1 2 8 2 5 another one can be 1 3 5 3 5 another can be 1 2 8 3 5 right so these are the paths right now the problem says that minimum efforts you have to tell me the path like what is the uh, minimum effort I can take what is the minimum effort I can take to reach from 1 to 5 now what is effort here effort means that when you are jumping from 1 that you are jumping from a to b right the node value is a node value is b these are the actually the heights of the buildings right these are the heights of the building now when you jump you will use an effort of absolute difference of b minus a you will use the absolute difference of b minus a right now you have you will have to minimize that you will not have to minimize the sum you will have to have to minimize something like this so when you are jumping from 1 to 2 you are using effort of 1 2 to 2 using effort of 0 2 to 2 using effort of 0 and here you are using effort of 3 now the, the effort in whole of this path is actually only 3 it is not 3 plus 1 it is only 3 that is the maximum value among these so it takes a path it takes an effort of 3 similarly about the second num second number path it is taking an effort of 1 6 here 6 here 3 here you can see 6 is the maximum so it is taking a path of 1 6 uh, 6 efforts right now talking about this one it is taking a 2 here 2 here 2 here 2 here so you can see 2 is the maximum effort required here now talking about this it is taking 1 here 6 here 5 here 2 here so here 6 is the maximum effort required now among these four paths which one has is having the minimum effort so this is a path having the minimum effort so I will return 2 as my answer I will return 2 as my answer so I hope the question is clear to you you will have to return the uh, integer path with the minimum efforts right how will you solve this problem how will you solve this problem so let us try to do this using Jaikstra using Jaikstra and when is Jaikstra used when you have to find shortest path you have to find shortest path normally in Jaikstra we use the sum of path as the definition of the shortest path but here we will use something different so the matrix given to me is 1 2 2 3 8 2 and 5 3 5 Jaikstra says make a corresponding matrix for the distances. So I will make a corresponding matrix and initialize everything with infinity. So infinity here, infinity here, infinity, 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 infinity. I want my initial node to be this one. So I will put a zero here. Now make a priority queue. Now make a priority queue. I made a priority queue, right? Name it as PQ. What will it store? It will store step. That is a uh, type uh, that is the effort that is effort required to reach here make maximum effort right which accounts actually with row and column right so this is my priority structure and this is actually a min heap that is I will node need the minimum values at first right so it is the video is going to be very simple for you if you have a knowledge of Jaikstra if you don't have a knowledge for Jaikstra I would please recommend you to please just get your Jaikstra straight because after understanding Jaikstra, the question is nothing. But please understand Jaikstra first, right? Okay. Now, how will we proceed? I will push in this value because this node is 0. So, I will push my 0 here with 0, 0. That is, this is a row, right? This is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2. These are the column index 0, 1, 2. So, I am pushing the step with the row and column, right? Now, this is the only element, I will pop that out, so I have 0 with my hand, with 0, 0, right. Now, from this node, I can actually go here or here, only these are the possible values, right. So, I will say, when I will go to 2, I will see that the difference with me is 0, but the difference for in going from 1 to 2 is actually 1, so 1 is actually greater, so I will require an effort of 1. 
so i will say when i push one is the value of uh, value at present at the distance of two is greater than less so infinity is also always greater than one so i will delete this value put one here and i will use this into the priority queue that is with the step of one and the row number is zero and the column number is one one zero one similarly for three it will be two here that is i will change two here and push two with one comma zero now because this is a min heap i will get this value first i will take it out i have got one as my value and one zero comma one as my column and the row talking about zero comma one where it can go it can go here back it can go here it can go here talking about to the one node so one node actually contains zero one node actually contains zero so it will not go here because zero is always minimal than one talking about two so 2 to 2 takes 0, I actually have 1 in my hand, so I will take an effort of 1 to reach 2, and but 1 is less than infinity, so delete infinity and put 1 here and put the node inside, so 1 with 0 row and 2 column, right, talking about 8, talking about 8, so it takes an effort of 6, which is actually greater than uh, 1, so my effort to reach 8 will be 6, I will push 6 here with uh, row number as 1 and column number as uh, 1 right and i will change it to 6 i will change it to 6 now because this is the minimal step so i will pull, pop out 1 so 1 0 2 1 0 2 talking about this one 0 2 so where it can go it can go here but it will not be of beneficial because it is already 1 talking about this one now it will go for it can go 0 but it has already 1 in hand so it will go here with value 1 it will go here with value 1 so 1 what is the row number it is 1 and what is the column number it is 2 right only this was possible pop it out because it is of minimum step 1 1 2 that is this value again it can go above here or here if, if it will go above it will not make not make, not make any changes it will if it will go here again not make any changes because 6 is already here 6 is already here so nothing happens but if it will go with down if it will go down at, at 5 then it will get a difference of 3 it is already carrying a difference of 1 3 is actually greater so it will push 3 here it will push 3 here and put the node into the 5's lane it will put the node into the 5's lane and if i push it here that is uh, 3 with uh, 2 comma 2 do i really need to do this if i've already achieved a shortest path for this i can just break it out and return 3 i can return 3 this is my jackstra this is my jackstra and nothing else and nothing else so let us write a code for it let us write a code for it let us write the pseudo code really fast what will i do I will say I will make a min heap. I will keep a min heap which will store pair of int with pair of int comma int. First int is for steps, right? I will store it for steps. Now I will move forward. What I will do, I will say pq dot push the first node that is zero step with zero comma zero. Now uh, while my pq is not empty while my pq is not empty what will i do i will say step comma row comma call equals to pq dot pop right now i will stay n row equals to row minus one and n call equals to call because i have to go left up right and below so for left i will change it to uh, row comma call minus one for right it will go for 0 plus 1 for above it will go for um, plus, minus 1 0 and for down it will go for plus 1 0 right so here it is minus 1 0 and i will change it for four values after getting n row and n column first i will check if that is present in the matrix so if n row is greater than equals to 0 n call is greater than equals to 0 n row is less than n and n call is less than m that is my total number of rows in that case my value will be maximum of my current uh, my step and my absolute difference between uh, height of and row and call minus height of row call height of row call now i will change the value if my value is less than what is present in distance matrix of n row and call What will I say? I will update the value. So this list of n row n call equals to value and I will push it into the queue. Push it in, push it in min heap. Right? 
and before moving forward just add here that if my row equals to equals to n minus 1 and my call equals to equals to m minus 1 that is I have got my answer and just return your step return your step right that's it right that's it this is the whole code the question is really easy it is just of medium type and I am sure that you are able to understand it but still I can I can agree that some people might have doubts you know where to comment down and you know where to DM my social media handles are also mentioned in the description so please connect with me and ask your queries and do give me a follow in the Instagram and connect with me on LinkedIn okay so let us move to the code now so here we are guys so before moving on I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as much as possible so let us make a priority queue first so let us make a priority queue priority queue which will store pair of int with pair of int command right let me copy this or not not me change it first it will be pair right let me copy it now control c and now let us continue i will make a vector of parent and i will mention greater that is this is the format for creating a uh, what do we say min heap right i hope you know about it pq right this will create a min heap for me now i will create a distance matrix so vector of int vector of vector int sorry vector of vector int at this name it as dist and dimensions are vec n comma vector of int with m comma i will store int max here because to get infinity and then i will say int sorry distance of 0 0 as 0 because that is my source and i will pq dot push 0 comma 0 0 0 now moving forward while my pq is not empty pq dot empty what will i say i will say my int steps are pq dot top dot first and similarly my row is pq dot top dot second dot first dot second dot first and similarly my call is pq dot top dot second dot second second dot second now the base case was that if my row equals to it will be call him here okay int call if my row is equals to equals to n minus 1 and my column equals to a n minus 1 that case I will I have achieved what I wanted and I will just return my steps simply return my steps otherwise what is the case now otherwise uh, I will make int n row and n column to explore more right to explore the natives now if I will first assign n row with uh, above so n row changes to row minus 1 and n call remains call it will be a semicolon here guys now to provide this into the given dimensions n row should be greater than equal to 0 n call should be greater than equal to 0 n row should be less than m n sorry and n call should be less than m this is for why this this is for actually uh, what do we say this is for actually getting the values inside the matrix uh, to not go out of the bounds in the matrix right now i will make a value so int value equals to maximum of steps steps occurred so far uh, it is actually step and height absolute height, height difference absolute height difference absolute heights it will be heights here so n row n call minus uh, what do we have we have i row column right so heights of row column this will give me the maximum difference now if my value is less than what is present in the distance matrix that is n row n column i will change the value and I will push it into the queue so distance of n row n column becomes value and I will push it into the queue so pq dot push uh, what is the value I will push value with n row comma n call now I will have to do the same for the left right um, and down also so control c the space it three times and then change the values of n row and n column so it will be plus one for down it will be minus one here for left it will be plus one here for left and i will have to remove it right so after this also i forgot to pop that out pop that element out of the uh, queue so pq dot pop and at last i will just return distance of n minus one m minus 1 because that is the destination I wanted to teach 
let us try to compile and run it hope it will work fine in the meantime please do consider to subscribe my channel there has been some mistake guys there has been some mistake the pair, uh, mistake is in the typing what is the typing mistake it will be here and here and here so three typing mistakes were there let us try to compile and run it now hope it will run fine again a mistake guys again a mistake step was not declared return steps so where have we used yes it is return step here okay some small typing mistakes i hope you will forgive those and it is running fine let us try it for submit as well and continue our streak so 151 day streak it should be okay 151 day streak thank you for watching have a nice day and we'll meet tomorrow with a new question thank you have a nice day